Wow! Seriously, not scripted. Oh, oh my leg! But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. What it do, Buddha Crew? It's your boy Finance B here, back with another brand new video. Today we are doing the first product review that I have done in a long ass time. It's been a long time since I did a product review and we're hosting a big ass giveaway too. Because you already know, we didn't already just get one of these decks. Boy, we got two of these decks. We got two. One, two. We got two. I have been waiting to see these decks in the flesh for the longest time. You guys know, if you watch Scoot Review notoriously, you will know that I've been waiting and promoting this deck for so long. And with that being said, I'm very, very, very excited to bring you this video. This is the comprehensive review of the Juzzy Carter Sig deck. That was a really bad shot. That's just a shitty hole in the wall. If you do end up enjoying this video, make sure you smash the like button on it for me. Subscribe if you have not already. If there's another case if that goes to this person right here. <laughs> Get out. I have put a lot of effort into this video. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I haven't been uploading as much recently. That is going to change on December 1st. I am going to be vlogging every day throughout December because I'm going to be with my family. I'm going to be doing lots of fun stuff. There is a bee inside my room. Better get out of my room. Eh, 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 eh. There's a window right there. Go out the window. Go out the window. Ah! I hate bugs. Get out. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that one's gone. Now I'm gonna bash the spider. Ew. The spider is dead. I'm sorry, I don't like bugs. Sue me. Enough chit chat, let's run it back and we'll start the video at the tone of this clap. <laughs> ah, here it is. Finally. Juzzy Carter deck. My desk is a bit of a mess, hey, hang on. Wow. Is this not the most beautiful computer screen you've ever seen? I think it is. But you know what, this might actually be the most beautiful deck you've ever seen, and that's deck, not dick. Okay, that meme's so old now. Please stop commenting that. Everyone's gonna comment it now that you've said it, BG. This could be the most highly anticipated scooter deck of 2017, and I've got two of them. And I'm about to open this one, but before we do, I'm really hungry and we need to go get some food, so we're gonna go do that first. So unfortunately, I actually lost the charger for my G7X, which totally blows because that is the most convenient camera I have. I am going to have to wait to get another one on order, but I didn't even realize that I had completely lost it until this morning because I haven't actually filmed a vlog in like, I think almost two weeks because I've been focusing on the Holly Piazza video. I've been focusing on Scoot View and I've just had some stuff that I needed to get done and get through like new merch. And like if you guys didn't know this brand new merch website and you need to check it out right now. And I was also at the Drake concert like two weeks ago and I haven't even released the footage for that, but that was the last time I used my G7X. Check some of this out. Oh my gosh, it's about to get wild. I want that Ferrari If I'm completely honest, I think that was the best night of my entire life. I don't know if you guys are Drake fans, but I am a huge Drake fan and that concert was so loud. It was so wild. So good to be there. Oh my gosh. Let's get some food. It's time. The Juzzy. Carter Sig Deck by Mad Gear. I've had a lot of questions and comments and pointers on my Instagram recently saying like, Brad, why on earth are you writing a Mad Gear deck? What, what, is, what is going on? Is this 2012 Scooter Brad? No, things have changed. And this, this right here, this is what has changed things. The Juzzy Carter Sig Deck is a 22 long Mad Gear deck, five wide. The MFX decks normally come in a 4.5 or a 4.8 version. I did have a limited edition 4.5 and I have also ridden a bunch of 4.8s in my time. But this one, this is the first 
the very first. Some more features that I do want to specify on this deck are the 6061 aluminium T4 and T6 heat treated aluminium. They have closed dropouts, which is something that everybody wants on a scooter deck these days. It's an internally fluted extrusion. I will show you guys what that means a little bit later on. The head tube angle is 84 degrees. This is a 110 millimeter brake, solid foot plate, quad channeled extrusion developed and tested by Juzzy Carter. Let's open the box. Ooh. This is very exciting for me. First thing we've got inside the little package is looking like a bit of a uh, bit of a merch pack here. So I'm gonna pop this open, show you guys what is inside. We've got a bunch of different stuff. First thing, a Mad Gear lanyard, Mad Gear shoelace, lace gang, Mad Gear wristbands. Mad Gear keychain and a crown race. Uh, what on earth is that for? The deck itself. Wow. Wow. The deck comes pre gripped. Hey, that's pretty good. The box back end looks fantastic. It also comes with two different sets of spaces so you can run. The wider wheels, if you do so please, or the thinner wheels, the more standard wheels, if you do so please. The blunt plate also looks pretty decent. It's not flat by any means, but it does have a nice shape, which would be good for crooked grinds and other such things. The one thing I will say about it is that it's very heavy. That is most likely due to how thick the box back ends are. I'll show you guys some more detailed shots of this back end. Another thing I'm noticing straight out of the box is it does not ship with a six millimeter high tensile steel bolt. We only got a five mil. And the last thing, I can't forget the last thing, is the graphic on the bottom. This is the Juzzy Carter graphic. And I really, really like this. If you haven't figured it out already, this is a comprehensive review of the Juzzy Carter signature deck from Mad Gear Action Sports. So, who is Juzzy Carter, you might be wondering? Well, Juzzy has been riding scooters for a very long time. The first major international brand that he rode for was Micro Scooters, and I don't know if you guys know them either, but Micro is an old school brand that was very big back in the day. He was one of their very first pro riders, and he was a very good fit to the team. When he transitioned to Mad Gear, it was kind of strange, but when he did transition, he went from park to street riding, like, very quickly. Let me get rid of all this stuff and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. This new Mad Gear deck is absolutely huge. It's bulky, it's beefy, it's strong, and as a comparison to an Apex, this thing is a giant. I like how you don't hide your problems like everyone else. Sure, I'm using this deck as a comparison. It's not a micro deck by any means, but it is still comparable to this deck. Like. An Apex and a Micro Deck are slightly similar in terms of dimensions, weight, strength, etc, etc. And this is just on a whole nother level. Now you guys know, I have a lot of scooter decks. And I can honestly say I'm the most excited to ride this one out of all of the new ones that I have. Hence why I chose it to be the first comprehensive review over the Root Deck, the Jabber Deck, and the North Deck. But if you guys want me to do one of these three next, make sure you let me know down in the comment section right now. And right now, we're also gonna head down to the skate park and ride this bad boy. Let's go. It's been a long ass time since I actually rode at Wash. You guys know that I travel a lot, so it's like, when I'm actually not at my local, I kind of miss it. Like, I miss it a lot. It's like a second home for me. It's my favorite skate park in New Zealand, at least. And uh, it's been so long since I rode there, so hopefully we have a first good session back. Oh man, I still got fan mail in here that I need to open. We'll do that later. I'm so down to ride, man. Session's about to go down at Washington Way. You already know we haven't been here for quite some time, but I want to show you guys the new scoot that I put together with the MFX Jazzy Cutter Sig deck. So what we got at the top, we got the two blue ethic grips, you already know. Affinity Titanium T-bars with the Kiss My Steez sticker down the bottom, and the Lace Gang, you already know. Lace Gang. We got the Elite SCS, three top caps because the Mad Gear decks are all very awkwardly sized when it comes to the head tube. We got the Flavor Animal Fork, two Flavor 110s, two Apex pegs, and of course, the MFX deck, which is rocking my brand new signature grip tape. Here we are for the comprehensive riding test and sort of a half test for the new grip tape as well. I have made some adjustments to this. There's five different qualities of grip that I need to check before I can actually release a sheet. But well, we're gonna ride this right now. Feels good for Boston's. 
Okay, okay. How about top side heel? Oh, okay, that's that's a bit different. Try double whip. Okay, this is where it gets strained. See, the head tube angle on this deck is so steep. It's so different to most other decks that are released. Like most decks come like 82, 82 and a half, or maybe 83 degrees. Okay, I'm kind of getting used to it now. Try something a bit harder, maybe. Try whip bar. Oh my God. Ooh. It has a very strange sort of balance point because the back dropouts are so heavy because of the increased amount of metal. But like when you whip it, the head tube angle combined with that added weight at the back makes it feel really strange. It would take a lot of getting used to. See, it's not often I can jump on a scooter and not do like all the major tricks that I'm usually able to do on any other deck. Oh, far out. That's so hard to do on this. Let's take this to the rail. Slides perfectly. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God, I can't three down with this. Okay, there we go, worked it out. Okay, full whips are really nice on it. Oh, sketchy, bro. Oh, that fakey out. When you pivot out, you pivot and like, you kind of tend to lean back a lot because the bars are so far away from you and the wheel's so half the ground. If anything, this deck is more of a learning curve for any rider. Oh, you see what I mean? There's a better fakie. There it is. Let's see how this goes on coping. Slide's so good for a brand new deck. That's the one thing I will say about it. Okay, okay, I'm feeling this. Let's try a foot jam combo. Hi, my name's Jacob, and I'm going to try this dick for the first time, and this is seriously not scripted. Oh! Gave me cramp in my leg when I did that. You reckon you can pull us the hip? Okay. Oh, my leg! Oh, <laughs> it's giving me cramp! For a park rider, this is way too heavy. It feels like riding a dirt scooter with small wheels. Well, when you pivot out a fakie, it makes the wheel feel really high off the ground. It's doesn't feel right. So I think that should be enough testing for the time being. I think I figured out everything I needed to know about the deck specifically, so I'm gonna go home, carry on some more tests, show you guys a little bit more in detail of the deck's design itself, and then pretty much just wrap up the review. So I'll see you guys at home. So what is my overall opinion on the 5x22 Jersey Carter deck? Well, I'll tell you guys as soon as we get through the fan mail that I promised I would open earlier. So let's sit down and get into some of this, yeah? Okay, this is like a very small amount of fan mail that I actually have in total. I have like a whole nother thing of this like filled to the brim. And I'm really sorry guys, I have been neglecting fan mail a lot recently. Only because I've been traveling a lot. But I'm going to get through these packages. And then I'm going to do, that's not a package, get out. An entire fan mail video on Monday. So I'll do Scooby tomorrow. And then on Monday I'll have a full on fan mail video before I have another product review out on Tuesday. That's the schedule. So let's get into some of these here letters. First one here is from Dustin. I'm just going to rip them open and briefly swap through them. Hi Scooter Brad, I watch all your videos. I live in Seattle, WA, and I scooter too. You and Tana inspired me to ride scooters. Keep up the good work. P.S. P.S. Could you send me an old headset of yours? I'm in desperate need of one. Dustin, my dude, I actually would do that if I had any spare headset bearings. I literally have two headsets. One is in my scooter and one obviously I need as a backup because people, they just, they don't give me headsets. Actually, that's a complete lie. I got a couple of flavor headsets when I was in Australia recently. I gave one to my friend and then I gave one to another friend because they both needed headsets because everyone just needs headsets all the time. I need more headsets, what I'm trying to say. There is his Instagram and his YouTube. He also drew a picture of the classic SB logo. Thank you very much. 
to Scooter Brad. My name is Isaiah Grant. I am 13 years old and I love to scooter every day at Gregordale. G Geraldine Geraldine Skate Park. I'm a huge fan of yours. I love watching your videos every day. I see a new video from you. I get way too excited. I hope you don't mind my bad handwriting. Your handwriting is actually very good, I have to say. Your scoot reviews are my favorite. So are your vlogs. I've been an active subscriber since 80,000 subscribers. I have always wanted to meet you in person. You are in my top five most favorite YouTubers. You are the best from Isaiah Grant. Thank you so much, my man. Isaiah Grant, my homie. Fidget spinner! Holy crap. Dude, this... Wait, hold on. This has a speaker and a USB port. Hey, hang on, hang on, we're trying, wait, just wait. We're trying this. Whoa, are you ready? Ow, I just bashed my knee on the fucking desk. Oh, 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 that's crazy. Wow, that's so sick. Scooter Brad only. No imposters. Oh, it stopped. Hey, Scooter Brad, my name is Azeria. I've been watching your videos ever since I was nine and I'm nearly turning 13. The fidget spinner is a speaker and it's called BT Speak. It's, it's got Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth. Where's my phone? Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bluetooth fidget spinner. You must be taking the mic. We're gonna play a banger. <laughs> Minus one, that's three quick maps. Everyday man's on a block. Smoke trees. There is his Instagram right there. Thank you so much, my man. That is so good. Holy crap, he made this like insane car. Another doodle page of doodles. We also have the play button and my logo on there. You already know what it is. It's far and let's flip. Hey Brad, you are by far my favorite YouTuber. Yes, I made it. Hi, my name is Dylan Gunn. I'm 14, I live in Tiamudu. I also like riding scooters and that time you went down to the TA skate park, I was sadly not there. Please shout me out or follow my Insta, it's right here and my YouTube is right here. From me and all the scooter squad in Tiamudu. Ciao boys. His YouTube and Instagram is just here at the bottom. Thank you so much, man. I'll definitely come back to TA at some point, no doubt about it. Right, there's two to go. Dear Scooter Brad, aka Buddhist Brad, aka Finance B, you are my most favorite YouTuber ever. I really like your honest content. I've been watching your videos for about two years now, and your videos have inspired me to be more honest, and they make me have something to do in my downtime. I've been with your channel since I started riding scooters, and I really like watching everything about your channel. My Instagram right here, and please tell your viewers to use code Buddha for 10% off at the Volpro Scooters. Plug. There's his Instagram right there. Hi, my name is Henry. I love your videos. I started writing scooters from you. I look up to you as well. My friends say I am weird because I watch your videos and I can tell it now from you teaching me how to keep up the good work. Thank you, Henry. Moving that cornflakes. So, one of my favorite things about this deck is that you can foot jam again. Foot jamming is back. Thank the park gods that foot jamming is back. I'm so glad that people are starting to make foot jammable decks again in bigger sizes. The only other brand that's doing this right now is 858. 858 and Mad Gear are the only currently easily foot jammable decks. Of course, you can foot jam pretty much any deck on the market, but there's no specific decks that are shaped to do foot jams other than the Mad Gear decks and the 858 decks. This deck slides incredibly well for a brand new deck. It grips onto rails very well. It's got a very good grind surface, so it is Predominantly amazing for street riding. Because of the added metal to the back end, it's gonna take a long time for those dropouts to actually drop out. The nylon flex fender brake is very, very nice. It grips well on tire taps and also allows you to use it for manuals if that's your personal preference. I'm also unsure if the deck would fit a Chetty. That is something I would like to try to do in my next video if I choose to make another on this specific deck. There's also a mod called the X-Men mod, which is where you actually machine out the dropout of the deck and replace it with pegs. That way it is still boxed, but has a lot less weight on that back end. So, pros of this scooter deck. You can do foot jams. You have a box back end. It comes pre-gripped. It's 5x22. It's made for street riding. It's a SIG deck, so it means that when you're buying it, you are supporting that rider directly financially, and they can make a more of a living off actually riding scooters. The cons of riding this deck, it's very heavy. That's the biggest con. If you're not very used to riding bigger decks that weigh quite a lot, you're not gonna like this deck. For example, if you're only just coming off an Envy Prodigy Complete, you're probably not gonna like this deck because it is extremely heavy. To put it into perspective, this deck in its entirety weighs 5.1 pounds. That's 2.3 kilograms. That's 500 grams less than a Sacrifice Complete. Yes a complete. Another con personally for me was the head tube angle. The 84 degree head tube angle is very, very strange to me. I do not understand it. It feels nice for bar spins and grinds, but that's about it. If you're trying to do bry flips, overhead tricks such as umbrellas, front scooters, and most likely tail whip combos, 
it's not very nice for that. You'd either have to get very used to it or run heavy bars to even out the balance point. I myself run titanium bars and I do like my whip combos so this just didn't really feel right for me. The balance point was off and I should be trying it with some steel bars and I would like to take a little bit of weight out of this deck to see if that makes it any better for me personally. Judging by the aesthetics and the price point of this deck along with the features that it does include, I'm gonna give this deck a 7.9 out of 10 on my own personal judgment scale revolving around those certain things. This rating system is something that I'm gonna be doing on all of my comprehensive reviews, and I must clarify that this video was not sponsored by Mad Gear. I have not been paid to write this review. I was simply provided with two Juzzy Carter decks, one of which I have wrote and tested myself, and the second of which I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. So if you want to win this here MFX Juzzy Carter deck, all you have to do is like this video, share this video, turn your notifications on once you are subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment down in the comment section with your Instagram name. I will be picking one winner after seven days of this video being posted, and I will be directly messaging you on Instagram to tell you that you have won this here deck. I will ship it free of charge anywhere across the globe, New Zealand, Australia, the UK, Europe, Germany, America, anywhere. So if you want to win this deck free of charge, it's 100 any dollar value hit me up okay follow the instructions if you guys want to see more comprehensive reviews make sure you let me know down in the comment section below tell me what parts you want to see tested tell me what wheels decks forks clamps bars anything you like leave it down in the comment section below and this is the part of the video where i thank you so much for watching don't forget to head down to the link in the description to grab some of the freshest gear in the scootering game if you are trying to cop one of these decks i can get it for you at a cheaper price all you got to do is use the code buddha that's b-o-o-t-e-r for 10 percent off that and anything on the website of the voltproscooters.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Phineas B and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Have an amazing day. Bye. Hey, saying you want my name. Got no soul to play with. It's a crazy game. You got no child, but you still got to deal with child and shit all day. Still, I want you through these nights we lay.